baptize you with water. There is one coming who is more powerful than I. Come, No, Messiah is coming. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. As you are. And he, this sandal, I am unworthy to untie. I think there's one spot over there. Come, repent. Baptize yourself. Come, rid yourself of your sin. Come, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is near. Your name is John the Baptist. We Pharisees would like to know who you say you are. Elijah, the prophet, or perhaps Christ, the Messiah. O brutal vipers, who hath warned you to flee from the wrath to come, I claim to be nothing but this, a voice crying out in the wilderness, saying, Prepare the way for the Lord who is coming. Don't be so confident, John Baptist. We shall see. Behold, the Lamb of God who taketh away the sins of this world. Oh, Lord, I must be baptized by you. Oh no, John. It is my Father's will that you baptize me. For in this way is righteousness I before. This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. After Jesus was baptized, he went into the wilderness to fast and pray. Do you guys know what fasting and praying is? Well, fasting is when you keep away from something. For example, if you like cookies a lot, and mom just leaves the whole bag open on the counter, how many would you eat? <laughs> I heard somebody say the whole bag, and I agree, I'd probably eat the whole bag. So what if mom only gives you one in your lunch bag? Then how many would you eat? One. That one. Just one, exactly. I want to take So, home. in all the little things, parents slash adults who follow Jesus are trying to help make us make the right decisions. When Jesus fasted from food, he focused on heavenly things. He prayed. And as Jesus prayed for 40 days, Satan came to tempt him. one may see that you are the Messiah, because it is written, the angels of the Lord will cast you up in their arms, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. It is also written, do not put the Lord your God to the test. Son of God, do you see my dominion? This is my world. I am the true God of this world. If you are the Son of God, surely you would want to save your people. Well then, bow down and worship me so that all of this may be yours. Never. Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, 
You shall worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Him only shall you serve. Then the devil left him. Angels came and took care of Jesus. Every time Satan tempted Jesus, Jesus said no. Because Jesus follows God's word. Mom. After Jesus' baptism, he went to all the land and he preached the truth about God's love. He then chose 12 disciples who followed him. There were 12 of them. Let's see, what are, were their names? If you look at your seat, you can see the names. Oh, well then you must not be a disciple. If you look at your seat, you can see the names of 12 disciples. If you are one of the 12, when I call your name, say shalom, which means peace. So we're going to do the disciple name call. Roll call, okay? So these are disciples only. First, Simon, who's also called Peter. Anybody have that? Look at your seeds, because I know somebody has Simon, who's also called, that's you. <laughs> Simon, who's also called Peter, what do you say? Simon. Shalom. All right, now go up to Jesus. Then his brother, Andrew. Third is James, son of Zebedee. I think that's you. No. Right there. Okay, that James works too. Um, now we have John. Right, so as well. And Phyllis. Bartholomew, who's also called the candle. And Matthew the Levi, who is also a tax collector. James, son of Alphaeus. Oh, okay, that's you. You can be that, James. Hello. And Thaddeus. Looks like Thaddeus is not in the house again. Last time we had this problem. Simon the Zealot, are you here? Yes, you are. Hello. And Judas, the Iscariot, who eventually betrayed Jesus. Come, gather up. We need 11. 10. Can we do 12 this We need four more people. Come, we're going to break bread. Before we do, I'd like to teach you how to pray. Jesus' ministry grew, and disciples, you guys may return to your seats and nibble on your little pieces of bread. Jesus' ministry grew, John the Baptist's ministry decreased. Jesus eventually learned that John the Baptist was thrown in jail.
Herodias is a vengeful. She'll stop at nothing to put his son to death. Surely nothing is impossible for our great God. But shall this be his time to die? I don't know. God has a greater plan for our sons than we can ever imagine. I still cherish and remember all the moments we had together. Oh, I am scared. Elizabeth, my heart aches for you and
Finally, the opportune time came for Herodias to take action. On his birthday, Herod gave a banquet for his high officials, the military commanders, and the leading men of Galilee. Herodias and her first husband, Philip, had a daughter, Salome, and mom had some evil instructions for her daughter. Salome, my darling. Yes, mother. Has your mother given you everything you desire? Well, of course you have, mother. Salome, darling, do you know who John is? John the Baptist? Oh, I hate him! I want him dead! Well, mother, I'm sure you can have whatever your heart desires. Listen, tonight is a great thing for Herod. Go and dance. I'll make sure that he is drunk by then. If you dance well enough, you can ask for anything you want. What should I ask for, Mother? The head of John the Baptist. <laughs> so, at the banquet for Harry, his niece came, and she danced. She pleased Herod and all of his dinner guests. The king said to the girl, Ask me for anything you want, and I will give it to you. So John was killed because of the scheme of Herodias and Salome. When Jesus heard what had happened, he withdrew privately to a solitary place. Now, Jesus is in need of some comfort. So where are Jesus' disciples? Because I think they should go and comfort him. Who are the disciples? Go and comfort. Just give him some words of encouragement. And no laughing at him. Our last group did that. Really? Pat him on the back. Give him some comfort. Good. You guys are really nice. Great comforters. Thank you. But now I have something to tell you. Fear not, for the grace of God is with you. I tell you, I give you the power, the authority, to drive out evil spirits, cure diseases. You will go out to the world and heal the sick. I tell you these things, so that you may be able to preach my word. Wherever you go to, stay in the house and do not leave there until decided to leave that town. For if some reason the town rejects you, shake the dust off your feet at them as you leave. In all these things, remember, preach my word wherever you go. May peace be unto you. So Jesus sent the twelve disciples to do God's work. Are you guys all willing to do God's work? Yes. 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 So you should be. Then show love to all creatures, big and small. Tell everybody you know about God's love. Remember, I will keep your law in my heart so that I will not sin against you. That's found in Psalms 119.11. Jesus did just that. Jesus followed God's word. Mahalo. Coming today, you were a wonderful audience, and we shall continue our journey tomorrow.